Second annual Cannes Redemption Drive this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Players will be available to come pick up cans from your house during that time. If you'd like to donate before Saturday, there are drop-off locations in the east parking lot of the high school. Football cheer sign-up sheets are in the office. Please pick one up if you are interested in trying out. Trials will be held Sunday, March 29th from 1 to 4 p.m. in the Black Box. Iowa Lakes Community College will be offering a game design summer camp and 3D printing summer camp in the Spirit Lake this summer. The curriculum is suggested for grades 9 through 12. Interested students should check their email and or bulletin board for more information on how to register. Congratulations to freshman Jack Waters on his selection to Allstate Individual Speech. Jack will perform his original oratory, The Destiny Blueprint, at 11.30 on Monday, March 30th at U and I. There will be a lip syncing contest next Friday during AA time. Anybody interested in participating can contact Mr. Doug Vanderwell. Happy birthday to Sierra Gross, Zade Gustafson, and Lucas Ovi. Now we have Jacob Boston with us. Boss, a little sore from yeah, the weather? Yeah, well, a little sore from the weather. It's kind of colder out there today, isn't it? It was cold. Wait. It was definitely cold as yeah. well. I forgot my sleeves at morning workouts. So. But it's more towards normal for this time of year, so we'll kind of get over it. I'm not but, over it. You can get over it while I go to the weather. How about that? Okay, let's go take a look at your St. Patrick's Day forecast out there. Take a look at the rest of the week first. Going into today and tomorrow, we're going to be having highs in the 40s, more normal for this time of year. Then Thursday and Friday will be in the 50s, maybe even 60 there on Friday, and then back into the 40s for Saturday and Sunday. So continuing with more normal type temperatures instead of those 60s and 70s. What we'll to expect for the practices today? 47 degrees out there at 4 o'clock. 46 at 5 o'clock, feeling like 43 there at 5 o'clock. Those north northwest winds calming down this afternoon. They were pretty strong this morning, coming down in the afternoon tonight. Then looking at what to expect for tomorrow morning as far as morning workouts go. 30 degrees there again at 6 a.m. Feeling like 31 though, so those winds will be a lot lighter tomorrow morning, so it won't feel as cold out there with those southeast winds. Take a look at the high for a day, 47 degrees. North northeast winds continuing 10 to 20 miles an hour, continuing to calm down throughout the day, and then a low of 30 tonight. Then take a look at the seven-day forecast. You see warm up there for Friday, 58 there on Friday. Then as we go back into the weekend, we go back into the 40s once again. A chance for some mixed precip, uh, maybe a little bit of snow Sunday night going into Monday. We'll continue to watch that, but for now, back to you guys. Now it's time for sports with Katie Brady. Brackets are still available for our 2015 March Madness Tournament. You can pick up a bracket in the office and fill it out. Be sure to fill out the bracket fully and include your name. Any first round game you get right will be worth one point. Any second round game you get right is worth two points, and so on. The winner of the contest will receive the SLHS Newsbreak March Madness Trophy. You can turn in your brackets in the office or give them to a Newsbreak member. All brackets are due at 3.30 p.m. tomorrow. Stop in the office and get your bracket now. Finally, the boys and girls track teams are heading down to Buena Vista University today for the Lakes Conference indoor meet. The meet begins at 4.30 p.m. Results tomorrow on Newsbreak. That is look at your sports. Back to you guys. Now we are blessed to have Tyler Kamitsen with us for training. Tyler? I'm doing good, thanks. Alright, as most of you guys know, March Madness is quickly approaching with billions of brackets being filled out and millions of dollars being put on the line. And the chance, the quintillionth of a chance for that perfect bracket. ESPN holds an annual contest to see who can get that perfect bracket and win one million dollars. How do you guys, when you guys fill out your bracket, decide who you want to win? I'm an expert. I just go up my heart, whatever feels right, you know. Just kind of. I've had 19 perfect brackets in 18 years of living, and uh, I just haven't told anyone. So. You know. Let's move on. Yeah. All right. Here is a video of Carson Dean. He made his treadmill workout as fun as possible. As you can see in this video, he did his own dance routine while running on the treadmill. He did the dance to the hit Bruno Mars song, Uptown Funk. The video now has over 600,000 views and was recently talked about on the Today Show. Sounds like us. Yeah, I was on the Today Show once. I was also once. Yeah, who was it? Let me guess. Would that be Tyler? Tyler was not on the Today Show. I feel to be the only person not on the Today Show. Well, <laughs> well, see, the problem is it was. It was supposed to be. 
I don't think you're supposed to be at all. <laughs> Quit on yourself. Well, I think I'm going to go cry in this corner now. Or maybe I'll take another nap. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, you and your naps. Sir naps a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess so. All right. Well, that's late chess. It's all time we have today. Thank you for watching Music Break. You have a look at this.